Hi. Um, I'm looking for the plane with this tail number on it. Any way you could tell me? Well, we're putting a jet today, and there's a big potential for us to make a lot of money. So if we're able to pull this off, it's going to be really cool, and I'm really excited about it. It never fails, man. We always have some kind of situation or some kind of issue when we do a repossession at the airport. But in this case, I'm pretty confident that Linda's going to be able to get the information that we need. That way we can successfully repossess this jet. Hello. Hey, Dan. Yes. It's me. Um, so I'm here over here with this, with this plane, but we got a problem. What happened? The guy just told me that the plane's not on the ramp, that it's, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Well, the guy told me it's headed to Camarillo anyway. Okay, so for sure it's headed to Camarillo? Yeah, he's, he said he was certain. I mean, when Linda told me this airplane was heading to Camarillo, I was ecstatic. This meant that now we can do our job without any restrictions. The guys at this airport, they know us, they support us. You know, we do work there all the time. Yeah, we still have to do some quick planning, but hey, Trust me, I was relieved when I got the news from my daughter. First, before I go into the details, Manuel, brother, when that thing gets here, your camera guys gotta stay out of the way and they gotta be safe. Do not get behind the aircraft. A repossession like this takes a lot of collaboration from a lot of different people. And it takes one person to put this together. Okay, that's me. I've already notified NAS because we don't want to get blown out of the sky. That's for sure. Thank okay, you. Okay, we have the uh, permission from the FAA to be on the ramp. So once the guy gets here, once he lands, mm -hmm. okay, you're gonna go ahead and jump in here with this gentleman here on his tug. Okay. Lou wanted me to disguise myself uh, and work with the ground crew, but um, I don't really think that disguises me too much. I think people are starting to know who I am by now. We got uh, Froy, he's okay. up in the air, and he's with Esteban, and hopefully uh, he's gonna call us. The and helicopter, the helicopter is up in the air, and okay. they're just waiting for, uh, for the jet to get here. Basically, my role in this repo was just, you know, Air support, basically, you know, make sure that if he happens to move or land somewhere, I can spot him up in the air. I'm Esteban Jimenez, and I'm the top helicopter pilot for Twin Air. Once a helicopter gets here, it's going to block him in. Okay. Because we don't want this guy trying to power in or power out. That's why we have to have that tow bar connected. Got it. We utilized the helicopter in this particular repossession. We needed to make sure that this jet was going to be secured. This is a high dollar repossession, brother. This is no joke. All right, man, let's rock and roll. Just tell me exactly what you need me to do out there, okay? Yeah, no problem. All right, man. It's not too common that we get repossessions, uh, you know, when you have an $8 million jet. Uh, this is a different type of situation. It's a private owner. Basically what I did was I followed the jet in as he taxied after he landed, and uh, all I was there to do was just to block, block him from going anywhere. I was gonna land behind him and not let him go anywhere, pretty much. Go, nice. go, 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 Aircraft of yours, it's being repossessed. Repossessed? We, yeah, we got you. It's repossessed. You know, once once I saw the owner coming out of the plane, I, I had to know that he was foreign. I mean, he was wearing a funny hat and the way he was dressed. So the last thing I thought is that he was actually going to give us any kind of problem, and God, we were wrong. He, he owns the plane. You're the owner? Yeah, he's okay. the owner. Okay, how you doing? Lupus are, okay, listen, man. The, the aircraft is being repossessed. Okay, you already know, they've been trying to contact you. They're behind a hundred and something thousand dollars. No, this is not a joke, this is serious. I was there with the ground crew to make sure that they were not molested in any way when they were trying to do their job, okay? And um, also too, you know, I've never hooked up a plane before and they actually taught me something new. Hey, repossess, we own it. Yeah, we own it, let me have that, yeah, let me have that. Relax. Yeah, you can call, but it's repossessed. That's it, you guys stand back, stand back. It's no longer your aircraft. Listen, we have control 
of the aircraft. It is ours. What are these Stand guys by. doing? It's a repossession. This is insane. Don't worry, they're here this for is our safety. Relax. Relax. We Get out of my face. We own it. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. Stay back. Stay back. Right there. Don't come over the line. Stay back. Stay back. Hold you over here. Stay back. I'm not playing around with you boys. Play around. Stay back. You don't know who I am. the number right now. the number. The owner of the plane starts getting a little too mouthy. He wants to start arguing and, and fighting with Matt. And Matt actually kept his cool, which, you know, I'm glad he did. I mean, he, he was very professional about it. I just explained to you it's not your aircraft. You haven't made the payment. It's repossessed. We repossessed it. He's verifying the information. There's nothing you can do. Okay? It's unacceptable. And you're a part. You should have made the payment. Yes, you're right. It's unacceptable. Oh, it's a tough guy, right? Hey, Matt, listen. Matt. Do not provoke hey, my guys. Matt, Matt. What is he? Do oh, not provoke Matt, my Matt. guys. Matt. No. Good cop, bad cop. You got three bad guys. Right you guys, right right bunch right. of knuckleheads. Step back, please. Just step back. Step back. You Are you done? Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. So you understand what's going on? I understand what's going on. Okay. All right. Yeah, you might want to calm him down. Please calm him down because he's going to get in trouble. Get your stuff ready. The main problem with the owner of this plane was that like most overprivileged upper, upper class in our society, they have a sense of entitlement and they don't like being told no. And who are you? I'm one of the repossessors. I work for them as well. Oh, you're a big man, huh? I didn't say I was man, a big huh? man. I'm just asking you to please step back so nobody has to get hurt. As soon as you finish paying for it, it can be all your jet all you want. Let me tell you guys, okay? This is the way it should go down every single time. Good job, man. Good job on everybody's part, man. You should take my jet. Why am I taking it? Because you didn't my make the payment. But you didn't make your payment. If you make your payment, you wouldn't have that problem. Trust me. <laughs> He's pissed, bro. Look at that. Take this <laughs> home, baby. Let's go. Take it right here, right? Dude, you're the guy. You're the, you're the, you're the driver, man. You're Mr. Drive. You got to do something. I am so busy looking pretty. Wow. That you need to quit that crap. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, you know it's true. Right. You know, to tell you the truth, I really don't care what the neighborhood is like. It can be a rich neighborhood. It can be a ghetto neighborhood. If the person has problems, they're going to give you problems. Simple enough. O3 PT Cruiser. Mr. Five payments behind. Oh, nice. Do you have plates? No, we don't, but I'm... That's the address, bro. That's the BT Cruiser. Well, we, we got to the uh, the residence and the gate was open. So, you know, I got out and uh, walked up and I told the camera crew to stay off the guy's property. You know, the whole business of repo is trying to be quiet and stealth, okay? The problem that we're having right now is that the boom is not working properly and it slams because one of our shocks broke. Damn. You just gotta fix that, dude. Put it down. Our method of being stealth is compromised. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Are you, are you for a sir? What the you who I am? My name's Matt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir, calm down for a second. You know, having this boom problem is like screaming out loud when you get there. I'm here, I'm here, come out. And that's what happened. All I saw was a stumbling drunk old man. Sir, sir, can you please put the bottle down, please? So I can talk to you? Yes, my All right, all right, that's fine. But I'm here Hell to pick... Let, let sir, here. sir, I'm here to pick up the cruiser. The guy's out with a bottle, and he's been drinking, and, you know, Matt did the right thing. He's, he's trying to calm the person down, making sure that, you know, we stop, we're talking to the owner. And the older gentleman, she's been drinking so much, he didn't want to hear anything. Hell with you and my bottle. Sir, put the bottle down now. I'm not putting no bottle down. You get that goddamn car out of here. My sixth sense failed me greatly. Um, I took this guy for granted. You, you're gonna be wearing that for hey, hey, Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, 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 it freaked me out even more because I definitely have a fear of, of electricity. Hey, Repo, I paid for this! Put it away! You can't no. me in my life I'm leaving! I'm okay, backing off! Put that thing away! Please! Put it away! Please. Please. Put it up. No! No! The plan B was this. I was going to try to calm him down, 
and try to slowly move up on him. Because remember, I had a big gate behind me. I couldn't hop that gate. And I had Troy in the truck next to me. I couldn't get out without putting Troy in, 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 without compromising Troy. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 I'm backing up. I'm backing up. And bam, he nailed me. So I was trying to tell him to come down until he starts. So that thing's still working. I'm not getting nowhere near that thing because Matt on the ground and he's my muscle and I'm in the ground. All of a sudden, when I got hit, I lost all muscle control, and I just hit the ground like a ton of bricks, and I couldn't move. I literally could not move. Step away from me. Hey, step, you didn't do what you got to do. Step away from me. The cops. Step the cops away from me. Okay, I did what you asked. I did what you asked. Right. I'm over here out of the truck. Now you two need to step back. All right. So his wife is trying to reason with him, and we're trying to reason with him. He's not listening to anyone, and she starts telling us, well, I don't know why he gets like this. I don't care. Just get him inside. But then she runs inside, and she calls the cops, which was great, because I didn't have to do it myself. Stop. Give it to me. Okay? No. No. Just do it. No. Just do it. Get oh. it. I ain't giving you until the cops get here, so they can take care of these robbing sons. Get away. Get away. Get away. Sir. Drop the taser. Drop the taser. Call the sir. You know, the cops get there, and this guy is like, oh, I'm glad you guys are here. These guys are trying to steal my car. It's like, dude, we told you from the moment that we got here that we're repossessors. Back up, man. Okay, we're repossessing the car. In here trying to steal my car. We're repossessing the car. We I told you that from the beginning. You son of a we told you that from the beginning. Yes, sir. When I got back into the game, by that point in time, the police had shown up. I, you know, I didn't even know for I, I didn't know what was going on. As soon as the cops are involved, you identify yourself. Because why? You don't want to be on the ground with your hands behind your back and they're handcuffing you. We told him from the moment that we got here, we're doing a repossession oh, and he just went out. Okay. He's we're been drinking. Calm down, we're here to tell you right now. <laughs> what do you think the, co the cops are going to do when you, they approach you and you have a taser gun in your hand? It's not going to end up very well. <laughs> the woman was crying. And I'm like, what the hell are you crying for? You're the, I'm the one that got tasered, not you. <laughs> He was coming after me. He's a big son of a. <laughs> I'm gonna call Luruka. You alright? Oh my god, I pissed my pants. Oh, you nasty. Oh. And as you can tell, I pissed my pants, which really didn't make me too happy. You know, with what whatever dignity I had left. Louis Troy, Matt just got tased with a freaking stun gun thing or whatever the hell that it was. And let me tell you something. That was the first time I've ever been tasered in my life. And I hope to God it is the last. He's, he's fine. I'm fine. I'm he's fine. fine. I'm he fine. doesn't need it. I'm you fine. Know, you know what? Um, it's better for us because I don't want to leave here thinking that he's going to be fine and then he collapses or he has a heart attack and then I didn't do anything to protect him. What we had told the lady was is that we weren't going to press charges if she gave us the key. Um, I'm a little upset with this guy. But uh, I think he's going to be in enough trouble without me doing anything at all. I don't like what just happened. They took him to jail, OK? It's business time. 99 Ford Explorer. Ford Explorer. OK. Better play It's a, I guess it's an apartment complex. Let's see for that. Um, 51, apartment number right here in uh, Pacoima. Sometimes the reason why I take the whole crew is that way they can still have that that bond because you know Freud Matt's always by themselves, Sonia Linda. I need them to work as a team. What's the other skin? Obviously as we're strolling in, we have the number that we were supposed to hit up. But that is an older place and uh, the directory you can you barely can see the number. It's, uh, it's one of those situations that once we finally found 
you know, the, uh, the number, you know, man, what we've seen was ridiculous, insane. Is that an explorer? Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna be it. And it's on freaking concrete blocks. Oh my God, what happened? Right. How long has it been since this guy's made a payment? Cause look the guy, well, what happened was that the guy bought it about five months ago, made one payment. That's probably it. Look at all those ashes and everything. Well, no wonder. Fires. Rather than telling the finance company what was going on, this guy decides to piece out his car one piece at a time. Linda, get on your phone, call it the finance company, handle it, let them know what's going on. Let them know what the car looks. Tell them I'm gonna send them a picture. The reason why I had Linda take pictures right away, because the car is a total loss, obviously, common sense. And we want the finance company to see what the car looks like before we take it. So no sooner that we're checking it out and we're around there, here comes Jimbo. You know, Jimbo, meaning the RO, who comes out here with a can of beer. What's up, buddy? Hey, Are you what's, what's happening? We're here, we're with the finance here company here. to pick up the uh, Explorer, man. Dude, what finance happened to it? Finance company? Yeah. Fi what do you mean the fi finance you bought, You bought it, you didn't what pay for it. What happened to it? Yeah. Well. Because I know you didn't buy it like that, well, that's I, for sure. I wrecked it, you know, like, I didn't have the money, to, I had to let my insurance run out, you know? He was not gonna get a new car, he wasn't gonna be able to pay the finance company, so he continued to do things the wrong way. I can't drive it, I can't make the payments, I can't right. make payments if I can't drive it, you know? Yeah, but still, yeah. a responsibility is a responsibility. Yeah, and I'm trying to fulfill my responsibility by selling the parts. That's what I've been doing, I sold this door. Yeah, how much did you get for the yeah. door, man? Oh, no, $100. $100. $100. What's going on? What's going on? Dude, I thought you paid for the car payment. You thought I paid for the car Well, of course I haven't paid for the car payment. And then, okay, here comes the two little, I don't know what I can call them. These two gals just came out. I didn't know if one was a wife and one was a girlfriend or they had a damn party going on or whatnot. What are you guys going to do with them? Where do you think what? I got the money for you the know, beer? It's just a piece of That's trash anyway. Why the you guys want to take it, huh? Yeah, I mean, why are you even going to take it? Look at it. Like, you, you can't, can't even it. drive the damn Wait, how are you going to take it? How are you going to take it? Yeah, how are you going to take it? Hey, so, so I have, I have a question for you. Did you wreck into somebody? Was it another car involved? Or was it, what was it? I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think don't so? Remember. Well, he's drunk. Okay. They were all being complete morons. You know, this guy's like, well, if you take my car, how am I gonna sell whatever's left of it to make money and make my payments? What do you want me to do? His girlfriend, okay. Well, you're not the only one. I am Paul. We're gonna help you with your problem here. That's what we're here and for. And who are you? What's that? What the f is that? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch what? private property. No. I don't get it with a freaking building. Okay, who what? are you? What? What is this? What? I'm a friend. Okay, why cameras. Why don't you guys inside? We're just dealing with the owner. What are the cameras here for? And we called Mahler from Swift Toe, and you know we're gonna watch his back. Hey, you guys need to move. Please move over. You need to get your out of the way. See, okay, let me tell you something. I'm only gonna say it once. Either we're gonna use the pepper spray or we're gonna haul your so please move. He's not happy, and then it's funny because there was a point with all this scuffle and argument that this guy got in my face. Now! This is not private yes. party. Now! 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 Move on now! Hey! 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 Sister, boy, whoop your ass, oh, me. Do not touch my sister, punk. I see you now a joke, Matt. Right here. Right here, right, here, right now. The guy was drunk, man. He was drinking. The guy was like way beyond being sober. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Wash it for us. Thank you very much. That thing falls on him, dude. I'm not helping him. I don't treat anyone differently because of how they look. I'm not racist, I'm not biased. I don't care if they're big, fat, tall or small, male or female. Man, you know, if, if you're gonna act like a jerk, I'm gonna treat you like one. Matt's like the little defender here, you know, step aside, step aside, I'm gonna take care of this guy. Can we get credit for this film? We get credit? Now we're movie stars. He's, he's talking to me about my accountant doesn't handle my accountant. I, you know, I started laughing, my accountant. Ah, stay away from him. Stay away from him. Stay away from him. Can't, can't, talk to the camera. Can't sell parts on my own car. Can't talk to the 
on, let's go. All right, go, go. Go with them. All right, clear out. Let's go. Even though these people were being so ignorant and being very, you know, uh, aggressive and evasive with information, man, we still have a job to do. And we got it. You know, the finance company won it. Who cares as long as we get paid? There you go. That guy, you know, he's drunk, aware, story of his life. But more importantly now, guys, today is Mondo's birthday. Oh really? So he doesn't know that we know. So when we get out there, we're gonna we're gonna put him on the spot, sing happy birthday to him when I give the cue. All right. So nobody jumped the gun. I don't even think Mondo knew that we knew that it was his birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, have a happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, have a happy birthday. Long time in the making, huh? Oh, there, you go. Right. there you go. Yeah. All right. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good one, guys. You got me. <laughs> <laughs>